What is good guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm going to be continuing my series of animal variations to see how much variations do we actually have in Way of the Hunter. We're going to look at the different antlers or racks and we're going to be focusing on the red deer for this episode. My previous ep episode was on elks. We took a look at what the elks look like and now we're going to do red deer. Red deer is my favorite species to hunt in Way of the Hunter. You can find them on Transylvania. They're in abundance. And you can find them in the high fitness area in Aurora Woods. And you have other low genetic areas or low fitness areas you can find them in. Now, my advice to you is not to hunt only in the high fitness areas you'll be surprised of how much amazing animals are in the low fitness areas. Especially again, if you're learning herd management, the low fitness areas are awesome to really study and come to grips with how herd management works. Highly recommend it. One of the first red deers we're going to look at here is a mature male. As we can see here, we have a 68% genetic. So he's above average. He's a two star. And when we look at the rack, we can see beautiful rack. I feel that the red deer has some of the best variations in the game. As we can see here, th these racks are pretty unique. They're above standard. The ones below this is very fragile looking, very thin. But for 68 you know, percent genetics, I think this is great. And we can see really, really nice variations here in the rack. We're going to look at an adult red deer. Now this one is one I killed by mistake. One of my biggest regrets. Um, he's 99%, but he's an, he's an, an adult. Two star. This guy would have gone on to be a five star and would have been awesome. Probably would have had a, a great, an, an amazing rack. Now if you take a look at the rack, you can see it's a whole lot different to the previous. One side is pretty straight and the other side is pretty curved and wonky. And again, fantastic. We can see the subtle variations. Some of them, they are a big jump. You can really notice them and others, it's very subtle. So, you know, taking the time to really appreciate these little things really enhances the game, you know, to know that we actually have these subtle, you know, differences. It's really cool. So when you, you put these in your lodges, you can really, really appreciate and, you know, be proud of what you, you hunt, what you find. The next rock we're going to look at is a mature, another mature male. And he's at 96%, but he's a five star. And if you look at the rack, it's actually incredible. I think this is one of the best racks or the top of the line racks. I think the red deer has. This is pretty much on top of the food chain. And there's a slight variation to this, but I think this is where this is probably the highest or the best you can find. It looks, it looks very strong. It's thick. It has a beautiful design to it. And it, I feel as if it's, I don't want to say it's rare, but it's not often you would see a rack like this. And I do feel that the top of the line racks are a little bit harder to find. It's not every herd is going to have this amazing kind of looking racks. And as you can see, in a 90% and above, you can see there's still some variations to the racks. They're not all the same. So it's really awesome to still have these. We look at another mature and it's he's 95%. He's a five star. And you can see the difference in the rack. Beautiful. The width of the rack, it's thick. It's pretty much symmetrical. Incredible. So again, these can sometimes be hard to see. You know, when you're out in the field hunting because you really got to get close enough to really, you know, see and appreciate this. So it can be really, really hard to get footage to really gauge what you're seeing. But taking the time to really, you know, slow down, slow the game down at your own pace and really observe your herds. Don't just shoot because you see a rating, you know, star. Really take a look and see what you're dealing with. See, see what you have in front of you. And I think 
the appreciation for the game will grow for herds it will enhance your hunts we're going to take a look at another mature male this one is a rare albino very very lucky to get this red deer i've only gotten one of these he's at a 71 percent again above average three star that genetic will never be better will never increase as he, as he matures and gets older so that's pretty much as far as he goes and i don't believe that a rack will change there's a chance he might live until you know to be like a four star but he can die pretty much at, at any time and when we look at this variation it's not as pronounced or, or as great as the other two that i showed it's a lot thinner there's some symmetrical nature to it a little bit of randomness to it but you can see here where at a three star you can see that the, the, the racks is suited for this the star rating so we have great range of variation this rack i don't see very often because it's really really nice and peculiar at the top the way it branches out at the top there it's not often i see a rack like this so there's a lot of variety we have here in way of the hunter and i think if you really take the time to, to study to observe i think you'll find a lot of pleasure a lot of you know reward in what you're shooting Pay attention to where you're hunting, if it's a high, you know, low fitness, and really observe the kind of racks that you get. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So that's uh, that's it for the red deer. Um, I'm going to continue doing other species to see what other variations we do have. Let me know in the comments if you have gotten one of these bad boys, what kind of racks you prefer, you like, that you want, or looking forward to in the game. Thank you for watching. And thank you for listening.